be at job interview for a cashier position in a kiosk. Woman interviewer asks me some questions, tells me I don't seem enthusiastic, tell her, okay whatever I just need money for collage, we chat a little more, tells me I need to be more marketable and have a sales pitch, ask her what does that having to do with being a cashier at a kiosk, silence, next question, asks if I'm willing to travel miles really fucking far to fill a position in another kiosk they have, I said, Okay whatever, ask her why they simply don't hire one guy over here and one guy over there. Silence again, tells me she will think about it and call me on Saturday. She actually calls three times and I don't take the call. Cleaning job, new guy is mentally disabled but not enough that he can work. His assigned areas smell worse than when he started, tells supervisor, turns out he stinks and doesn't wash his clothes, even Thule stops smelling like shit. Great worker and cool guy but, I try not to be around him too long. Few years ago, wage slaving away at Walmart, worked late night, back room until about 10 or 11 most nights, so I generally didn't see many people, those I did were interesting, most mowermos don't go to Walmart at midnight, late night customers aren't dangerous, just weird, one woman walking with roasty tear, service dog, little late pound fucker, that was apparently never trained in its life, pulling it around the store on its leash, it takes a shit, she kicks it under a display pallet, with her shoe, mother with two kids, maybe four, and five, or something. I'm bad with judging kids' ages, definitely older than stroller age though. Kids are both wearing full body harnesses, and on leashes. They're not potatoes, or anything. Seemingly normal children, just wearing leashes. Mother doesn't even say, come on, we're going this way, just pulls on their leashes. Got a retard kid hired on the crew, not a full potato, but definitely high autism, or whatever, screams autistically, and sits on the ground bouting when he doesn't get his way. This is kind of annoying when the crew is unloading a truck, and we all have our areas. His area is blocking progress for everyone, because he's bouting instead of working, believes he randomly has many seizures, not sure what he thinks a seizure is because he doesn't start shaking or anything. Just acts three loud of it for a few minutes. For some reason supervisors don't think this is a reason to not let him drive 12 foot high pallets of freight. The sad part is, outside work, he was probably a comfy autist. People like that just shouldn't be assigned to fast paced areas. Like a truck dock. Had a roasty co-worker for a few weeks. High schooler who clearly wanted to sit on her ass all day doing nothing. For some reason, my quote is I'm sure, they put this 5-1 teen girl on a truck crew to work alongside adult men, she doesn't do shit, will actually tell other people to do her job because she doesn't want to today, one day, carrying empty boxes, one empty box falls on her head, she pretends to have a concussion, goes to ER, costs store several thousand dollars, blames it very publicly on me, actually walks around the store telling everyone how I almost killed her, it's all on video, manager sees, laughs about it with me, she's still not fired, instead is transferred to department of her choosing. Not sure if this counts but I have a few stories about my shit job and shit life. Work at Glass Factory. Over the three year period I've been working there, the amount of work has increased over 50%. Should take about 12 to 14 hours to do. Get it done in 8 to 10 hours. Bring this up and ask for more pay for doing more in less time. No. Stop working as efficiently and move slower. Get 60 hour weeks now. Up from 45 hour week average and still never finish. They bitch to me. Tell them fatigue keeps me from moving fast. We both know this is BS for they can't call me on it, now they are 3 to 4 days behind in production and complaining how I'm not motivated anymore, tell them I don't care, they can't do shit as I'm the only guy trained for the job in the building. Never work in a factory that is run like shit, just don't. Work at a store, old couple drives from a distant city to come to my store because some website said we had a specific brand of mattress. We don't carry mattresses in our store at all. She gets angry and starts bitching at me. Tards are the worst. Like four to five years ago. 
working stacking shelves for like $24 an hour. With a tard, on the roster, it's a shitty area, and there's some space. In the delivery area, where everyone parks, if you park 15 steps across the road, boons will come by and smash your windows sometimes. Girlfriend works with me and we fuck with the tart constantly. The tart is slow as fuck, and if you get lumped with that you're not going to get finished. It somehow has a kid. Eventually it quits because the store can't fire it because it's a tard. On her final day, she tells corporate that people are parking in the delivery area, not even blocking the delivery trucks. Corporate contacts store manager, who talks to night film manager, who talks to us, no longer allowed to park there. Two people get their windows smashed out when they park across the road. Tards should be euthanized and at the very least neutered IMO. Be me, be fire extinguisher, and MFW no fire to extinguish. Find out boss is about to promote me. Turns out it was Dave. Friggin' hit a fire or hoses point peg. Still fire extinguisher. Week goes by. New water sprinkler moves in. Say hi. Get ignored. Still me. Still fire extinguisher. But is truly end. I want to get a job selling legal weed to responsible adults. I don't even care that my parents will think I'm a loser because they probably already think that. Applying tomorrow, thanks thread. No be fire extinguisher, literally best job security ever, only downside is that fire hoses like Dave are little pieces of trash. Be fire extinguisher, the skin to metal conversion therapy is super cheap, seriously though, stay away from fire hoses. Just remembered new story. Be me, be fire extinguisher. All disgusting humans leave the building. House per to time exe. Cute water sprinkler approaches. Note she just left her husband Jimmy. Pro tip Jimmy is a fire alarm. Pro tip fire alarms are the worst. I make my move. Say how goes it lady it's fine and none. Jimmy is still a worthless piece of trash wrap. Go to hose around her for comfort. Jimmy walks in. Aw oh, crap SDL. Hey not. What you doin with me girl? MFW forgot divorce was not final. Jimmy unleashes the full extent of his fire alarm screech. Re e e u o u o r e blenogan. Starts charging at me, ducks like a boss. Jimmy misses me and jumps through window. Weeks go by, funeral. Spray fire extinguishing CO2 all over Jimmy's dead body. Sprinkler still goes out with me, be me, still fire extinguisher. But now I'm a changed fire extinguisher.